Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. We'll be starting off the midweek with temperatures in the 60s as we uh, have plenty of sunshine to start the day and we'll be looking at low 60s in the Asheville area, 67 for Greenville. Maybe you'll be taking the kids to the pool. I know that I feel still a few schools that haven't started back up yet. Uh, we're looking at the upper 80s. When we take the kids to the pool after school, that's going to be a good activity to do because we're not going to be looking at much in the way of rain, at least not through the 6 o'clock time frame. Um, and we'll have some clouds increasing toward the end of the day. Now what we're going to be watching is energy moving in from the west. Now, I want to show you the times here. So this right here in the green, it's still low level instability. This is like storm food. It's like what keeps them going and makes them intense. So whenever you see this, you know that we're probably going to have a, the, at least a small potential for severe weather. The good news is we're not going to see much coverage of storms while this energy is around. Now notice how it falls apart. We go into the morning on Thursday, 8 a.m. Don't see really any colors out there. A little bit of green just to our south. That means there's not going to be much energy at all for storms to get strong during the morning on Thursday. Well, that works out pretty well because as we go into Thursday morning, that's when we're having our best chance of rain. Notice how the energy gets back Thursday afternoon, evening, but it looks like the rain will arrive a good bit before that. So here's Wednesday night. We'll have a couple of showers and uh, some isolated thunderstorms, but notice that as we get towards 6 a.m., that's when this rain is going to pick up in intensity, and it's around then that we will have the heaviest and most widespread coverage of rain. We won't have a lot of energy for those storms, so luckily that's not going to lead to much of a wind damage threat. We won't have much of a hail threat with this, but we could still hear some rumbles of thunder and get some very heavy rain. And I mean, look how disruptive this could be. If you're standing, you're sitting in the car line, uh, trying to get the kids to school, you want to make sure to have the rain gear ready and also just brace yourself for some traffic and possible accidents on the roads uh, because of this heavy rain. It's not going to last all morning long. In fact, it begins to shut off as we head toward 9 a.m. So that should keep us from seeing much in the way of flooding. So again, Thursday morning's the time frame. Not much energy for severe weather, so that's one good thing about it, but it's going to be terribly disruptive to that morning commute. Coming up, we're going to look ahead to more rain chances in our future as we head toward the weekend. Uh, but first, for a recap of some of those strong winds that we saw on Monday, let's go to First Alert meteorologist Chrissy Kohler. A line of severe storms tracked through the area Monday afternoon and all of the damage that we experienced across our area was from straight line winds from severe thunderstorms. No tornadoes detected across our area. So what happened is we get those high winds at the upper levels of the atmosphere running above that cloud top. And as those thunderstorms really build in, up into the atmosphere, those downdrafts then pull that strong wind at the higher levels of the atmosphere right down to the surface. Trans translating into what we call straight line winds. And then we get those damages, those trees down, the power outages, even some structural damage from these very strong winds. And when we're talking about the strength of these winds, some of these thunderstorms had 70 to 80 mile per hour winds on them, which is as much as a weak EF zero tornado. An EF zero tornado, 65 to 85 mile per hour winds. Several of the thunderstorms across our area had 70 to 80 mile per hour winds on it, which is why we saw just so much storm damage on Monday afternoon. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Chrissy Kohler.